Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got another 4 Series Grand Coupe. This one is the M440i in Dravit Gray. I think one of the better looking grays that BMW currently makes, at least for serial production. It's got a nice dark hue to it in the shade. And then the metallic flaking so it appears to be more gold, bronzish. Brings out sort of maybe a lighter green tint. But it definitely is dynamic in uh, changing properties here. All right, so let's talk about the 440 Grand Coupe. So the G26 platform just released for 2022. I believe the market launch was November 13th, I want to say. And unfortunately for the U.S. market, the first 1,800 or so of these cars, including the 430, were built with manual seats. So you do get a credit for the manual seats for this first batch. So this is, again, another one that's got the manual seats. We'll show you what those look like. But other options on this one, as you can see, we've got the optional Icon LED with laser light. I think this is probably the way to go. It's a thousand dollar option. I think, well, obviously not on the 4 Series Grand Coupe, but the M340, the M440, previously I believe that was part of the executive package. So that's been broken out now which makes a lot more sense. You'll probably see a lot more laser lights being added to dealer stock, which this is one of them. So we've also got our driver assistance professional package on this particular vehicle. Moving around, we've got these 20 inch wheels. They are style 862i, i being individual. Let's see if I can find where that individual marking is. I think it's on the rear wheel, but we've got Pretty nice design, although kind of weird with these inserts here that make it look like it's basically hollow. This is probably the right word here, but there's still definitely pieces of wheel there in various spokes. You got the uh, M Sport calipers in red, so six piston calipers up front, single piston floating caliper in the rear. This is Drive It in the Sun. I think it's very dynamic. I'll show the other side where it gets a little bit more darker. All right, so there, I found the individual spoke mark. See it right here on the rear wheel. BMW individual. Looks like we got Goodyear tires as well. Run flats. In the back, we've optioned this one with the M Performance exhaust. So it's a little bit different tone. I don't think it's got the burbles that you have in the 2020 and 2021 M340. But it's definitely a little bit more loud. Just not as uh, much pops and bangs, if you will. The Sirium Grey badging. Then here's Dravit Grey out of the sun. You see it's much darker. Looks pretty good, I guess. One thing I also forgot to mention are the M-style mirror caps, which I really don't like on the car outside of an M. And it showed up on the M240, as well as the X3 M40 and X4 M40i. And I think it's going to be the case going forward. All right, so let's take a look at the inside and all those details about the manual seats. So we've got Cognac Perforated Sensatec. You can see very nice touches on the Sensatec. Perforated, of course. Very good looking. Then we get down to our manual seats. So this is the backrest adjustment and the pumping up and pumping down of the seats for height. We do have lumbar support, but we don't have is the bolster support. So it looks like to get the bolster, you're going to have to have the leather um, interior rather than Sensatec. You got your little lever up there for pulling forward and backwards to so move it horizontally. Also, with the Sensatec, do not have an adjustment for the angle of the seat, so that would be over here with leather. So this is Sensatec, so you don't get that feature for these seats. All right, let's take a look on the inside. 
All right, so our familiar iDrive 7. You see our parking assistance package as well. 360 cameras, top down view, etc. Let's talk pricing wise. So the M440 Grand Coupe starts at $58,200. Dravit Gray Metallic is $1,500 extra. The Sensatec is included. Driver Assistance Pro, another $1,700. Shell Line Package, $400. Parking Assistance Package, $700. Premium Package, which gets you the heads up display, $1,750. I've got our adjustment for the manual seats, basically a thousand dollar credit. And we've got fifteen hundred dollars for the wheels, 20 inch wheels. And we've got the laser lights, a thousand bucks. Harman Kardon sound system, eight seventy five. That M performance exhaust is nineteen hundred and thirty dollars. Ground total, including the shipping for MSRP, is sixty nine thousand six hundred and five dollars. But it's a pretty good place to sit. So all should be very familiar for 4 Series and 3 Series current generation. Same basic layout. The nice trim effect. Sort of like a mesh. I think it's the mesh effect one. Let's see if I can find that on here. All right, so it's not the mesh one. It's the aluminum tetragon trim. So I think it looks pretty good. It's not real sort of like a 3D effect on this thing. You can't really feel that mesh or tetragon look. Familiar center console area as well. Driver attention camera in the middle of the instrument panel. You can see right up here for a driver assistance professional. All your regular buttons here for that feature is those all your regular buttons here for the driver assistance professional. So cruise control, excuse me, active cruise control, as well as assisted driving modes. Take a look at the back seat. And since we do have it in Sport Plus, let's see if we can get some exhaust sound out of this thing here. So I scroll back around here. So as you can hear, hopefully, not a lot of cracks and bangs on the overrun. But it definitely sounds a lot louder than the stock exhaust. So we've gone through the back seat before in the previous two uh, Grand Coupes that have been on the channel. There's not a lot of headroom in here, which is kind of disappointing, but can be expected with the Grand Coupe feel. All right, let's take a look at the trunk. It does have kick to open. All right, so as we mentioned before, hatchback, so pretty good access to the trunk. The seats do fold down as well, giving you a lot of room in the back here, but not bad. So we'll just uh, continue walking around, Dravit gray in the sun. Those metallic flakes look really, really good with the sun, brings out a different color in Dravit gray which we've had on various cars as well. But that's about it for another quick tour around the 4 Series Grand Coupe, the M440 with laser lights and Dravit Gray. So we'll have more on the channel. So hopefully we'll start getting the ones with the power seats in very soon. But we'll see you at the next video.